Job done, pal. Impressive, Ernesto. Incredibly destructive, but impressive. Now get the Papa Morty files out unseen. Unseen? Me? Just try and be restrained just this one. There's a telegraph line from the top of the pyramid to the jungle landing strip. We'll be waiting for you there. You can run, but you can't hide, hombre. Have done that job blindfold. Would have been more of a challenge that way. You've always been fast, Ernesto, but maybe you should try exercising your brain sometimes. <laughs> Papa Muerte thanks you for your hard work. Commander Trust, sir, my father didn't die of an overdose. It was a plot created by Papa Muerte with one of our own agents, and the agent is still operating from within these walls. Now listen, Cruz. Your father's death came as a shock to all of us. But to accuse another agent is a serious allegation. You better have something to back this up. Okay. It all started two weeks ago. After hearing nothing about my father's murder for years, I get a hot lead. I befriended Marco, a local small-time crook who wanted a favor. He told me that Cesar Morales, local gang boss, full of tequilas one night, had bragged of knowing about my father's death. Hola, mano. If you do this job properly, it will get you undercover in the Cesar Morales cartel. Gracias, Marco. I'll owe you one. Está bien, mano. Take this truck and ram it into the Virgilio's convoy, and when the job is done, meet me at El Macho Bar.
Cruz here. Everything is A-OK -okay on my first job as a gangbanger. Good. Now open the door and get ready to jump ship before you hit the tanker. This was a once-in-a-lifetime lead. Agent Pearson, Andreasen, Johnson, and Colding had all put a lot of work into this. I couldn't help feeling I'd let everyone down. So run it past me again. Who got the bright idea to send in your idiot twin brother? I can't remember exactly who came up with it, but feeling guilty and all, I went along with the whole crazy idea. I let my idiotic brother out of jail in exchange for him taking my place as an undercover agent. Ram. Yes? It's Tommy. Listen, man. Neither of us want you to be there, but you're there. So let's just try to get along. No, let's not. Let's cut the brotherly love bull. Just shut up and tell me what to do. Okay, let's just get this over and done with. Your first task is to get some hardware. I've made arrangements with Mr. Mendez from the Mexican secret police. He owes me. You'll find him and his buddies in a downtown joint called the Grease Burger. Hola, Señor Cruz. Interesting new undercover look with the beard and all. Anyway, Marco tells me you need something. If you need anything else, just come and talk to me, you know. Located in the red. 
red light district. You'll find him at a bar called El Macho. Great. Tell me something. Are you going to have this attitude all the way through this mission? Yeah. Thought so. Hola, chica guapa. I'm looking for Marco, alias The Rat. You asshole, Cruz. Don't pretend we never met. What was that? I goddamn near lost my nose. And I like it. I like breathing through it. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but your friend, The Rat, is playing poker with Los Hermanos Vigilio inside the bar. And apparently, he's winning too much. Whoa, that's Marco. You need him alive. Save his sorry ass. Run, amigo. Andale. More are coming. Let's get to my car. Come with me this way, amigo. You ate your last burrito, pal. Hey, pimp boy, those clothes went out of fashion with Huggy Bear. Take the tunnel under the road, amigo. Mi amigo, you are very good with your gun. This way is safe. Your dog food, pal. So much for Mexican hospitality. There's a side entrance to the big parking structure. Go to the third floor. That's where my car is. Spicy move! Hey, Pimp Boy, 
Those clothes went out of fashion with Huggy Bear. Spicy move. Spicy move. Easy, amigo. You drive. I got too many tequilas on me. Hold on, Cruz. So just to recap, your crazy brother is on the loose somewhere out there where he's running about like a lunatic. And if that isn't bad enough, he's working for us. I know what you're saying, sir. But if you'll just let me finish the story, just try and look past the details and see the big details. picture. Details? We're talking about endangering the lives of innocent people. Okay, amigo. What I'm gonna do now is go inside, take my enchilada hangover cure, and get my hair back into maximum padrissimo position. And what about presenting me to your boss? Oh, si, sí, si. Sí. I nearly forget. Okay, si. Sí. Of course I can call the jefecito and say a few nice words, but this won't be enough, gringo. You need to get yourself noticed. 